in the northwestern continent, you can find an area called the Vernese Forest. Inside it, you can find 10 Mokoko seeds. For the first, start from the bottom right side of the map, near the Balancar Ranger Headquarters report. From where you have to use the passage above the report, where you need to use two blue arrows in order to reach the Vernese Road. Once there, you will reach a huge rounded platform. In the upper side of it, on the left side from a standing torch in front of some barrels, you will find the first Mokoko seed. For the second, start again from the Vernese Road, you reached it previously. Inside it, on its left side, you will notice a zipline blue line. Use it in order to reach a side area. From your actual location, you have to go up until you will be able to enter inside a dead end. Where you will find a campfire, and on the left from it, there is the second Mokoko seed. For that herd, start again from the Balancar Ranger Headquarters report in the bottom right side of the map. And use the upper blue line passage until you will reach the Vernese Road. From where, reach the end of the right passage, where you have to use another blue arrow. Proceed further and on the next crossroad, go to the left all the way till the end in order to use another blue arrow. Then finally, it's time to use the zip line going toward the North Ford area. To finish immediately to the right, you will notice a small rounded garden. In the middle of it, hidden by the white flower, you will be able to find and collect that herd Mokoko seed. For the first, continue exploring the North Fold area in the upper section of the map you reached in order to collect the previous Mokoko. From here, use the blue arrow to the top right. Then use the first left passage in order to reach the top left area. In the middle of it, you will notice an arched tree. In the frontal part of the arch, you will be able to find the fourth Mokoko seed. For the next two, it's time to teleport back to the Balancar Ranger headquarters report in the bottom right side of the map. From where then you have to reach the zipline to the bottom right side in order to get to the next area. From where you have to proceed to the left till reaching the central part of the dark spot, where you will find near the mountain wall two forest rats you have to defeat. This action will reveal an arrow you have to use in order to reach the secret area to explore. Up here you have to go to the right until reaching a lantern in front of which you will be able to collect the fifth Mokoko seed. Plus, if you will go a few steps up, you will be able to find and collect the sixth inside the yellow plant. For the next two, teleport back to the Balanca Ranger headquarters report in the bottom right side of the map. Then use again the zip line to the right side from it. And this time, going to the right, you have to reach the dead end, where you will find a giant head overhanging. In the bottom left side of it, you will find the seventh Mokoko seed. While to the top right, in front of the second finger, you will be able to find also the 8. For the last two, you have to start again from the Balancor Rangers headquarters report in the bottom right side of the map. But this time on the right side from it, instead of using the zip line, you have to use the blue arrows pathway to the end. Then, using the passage around the Vernese Wilds, you have to reach the dead end to the right. Here you will find a rounded structure blocking the passage toward your destination. In front of this structure, you have to execute the Forest Minuet song. This action will remove the roots, allowing you to enter inside. Where, just a few steps forward, under the tree branch, you will be able to find and collect the 9 Mokoko seed. While on the left side of this area, hidden by the bushes, you will be able also to collect the 10th. 